Hello guys, I'm back here. Well, um, this is a different kind of video because uh, actually I've gotten some questions uh, online about how deep does the T2 go and uh, on the standard coil and then in the what bigger coil, the 15 inch I think it is. Um, actually, it doesn't matter if it's a Technetics T2 or if it's just a MD3310. There's a smart way how you can measure how deep your coil actually could go on a standard coin. Uh, yeah, a nickel or something like that. Uh, just it's a metallic and a standard coin size. Um, how you measure it is actually you can actually just look at the coil because it's the coil here that decides how deep you can go with the target. Now, if we take this one, this is an MD3010, uh, I think it's called the model, and I'll do this in centimeters. Now, I can tell you precisely how deep this one will go. Not by starting it up, but, but just measuring it. So let's see how many centimeters here. 21. So you take the coil, the longest um, point on the coil. Now this coil here is around 100% so it doesn't matter how I measure it. Uh, but as you see here 21, 22 centimeters that is what I could be expecting it to find uh, in a standard soil and so on. Uh, but that that's how you actually know. For example you can take this coil here and take it on the longest bit and you can see it's around 29 30 centimeters so that's how deep it will go around 29 to 30 centimeters in depth and if we take the big coil and actually you can try to test this at home and your on your own uh, detector and you'll find out it works the measurement works 99% and it says around 37 and I know uh, 37 around 38 uh, 39 maybe 40 centimeters is what a standard coin I can dig up with uh, with this one so you can see it's actually pretty easy to find out how deep uh, or how low your detector will go um, just by looking at the coil and measuring it up on the longest side here and if it's 100 percent 360 oval then uh, you just take it where wherever you want to so guys i hope uh, for you that have been asking some questions or how deep can it go now of course this is a standard uh, coin we're talking about if you take um, a lunamon piece let's say a beer can, uh, a squash beer can, this one here will pick it up maybe in 30 centimeters or, or 35 centimeters because the, the target is bigger uh, and it will be easier to detect. But we're talking about a standard coin. How deep will it go or how deep will it detect it? So I know for a fact that this one, I can take a standard good coin from the old days and find it down to 40 centimeters of dirt. I know with this one here, I will take it down to maybe 28, 29 or 30 centimeters. But this one around 40, 40 centimeters. And but this one here, who my kids are using, around 20 centimeters, I'll be able to take it. So th that's, um, that's how you actually you can um, determine on a regular size coin. And uh, when I say regular size coin, I mean around 2 centimeters in diameter. Um, that's what I'm meaning by it's, by it's, it's, a, it's a standard. So guys, I hope you learned a little bit how to uh, detect how low your detector can go. Of course, it also maybe gives an inch or two the, the parts inside the detector and uh, the quality and so on. But in the final end, it's the coil who decides how deep you will go. Not the amount of power or anything, but that. Now, uh, if you own a T2 or some of the 
other pro detectors you will have uh, ground cancellation. Uh, some of them have automatic ground cancellation and some you'd have to do manually. Now that's very important too but I'll get into that in, a, in another video for the Technetics T2 because I don't know about the Garrett's how they do it. Uh, but it's pretty easy. You can do it manually on the T2 or set it on automatically ground cancellation and it will do it like that. So guys um, I don't want to bore you more with the coils, but instead of making air tests, just take uh, what did I call them in English? Holy crap! I don't even know uh, a meter measurement thing. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will correct me on this. But um, guys, I'll see you guys later and. Um, I hope we can uh, dig some gold up in the near future. I'll see you guys later. Bye.